Hello, my name is Emily Harmon and I'm a biologist at the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill studying evolution. And today I'm going to tell you about the animal I study called the spadefoot toad. Uh, here he is. The spadefoot toad is actually a frog. And if you know one thing about frogs, it's probably that they live in or near water. Um, as young, they're tadpoles that swim. So here's the crazy thing about the spadefoot toad. This is where he lives, in the desert. And it's known for being very hot and dry there. So how do frogs live in the desert? Turns out they live underground. So here's this guy showing you his digging technique. They're called the spadefoot toads because they use their back feet like a spade or a shovel to dig underground where they then spend the majority of the year until thunderstorms wake them up in the summer. So when it rains in the desert, you get these temporary ponds forming as it floods and the frogs wake up, come up to the surface and head straight to those ponds. And the males will actually hop in there and call to attract the females. And it sounds like this. live in these ponds but since it's the desert the ponds dry up really quickly a pond like this one can look just like this a couple days later so the tadpoles have to grow really quickly in order to get their lungs and their legs and ready to walk out of the pond before it dries up because of this tadpoles exhibit plasticity which I talked about in a previous video where they change their traits as a direct response to the kind of environment that they encounter specifically here they change their traits based on the type of food they eat. So if they eat a lot of dead plant material that we call detritus, sort of like the fish food pictured here, they look like a normal tadpole. But if they eat a lot of shrimp that are also found in these ponds, they turn into these big carnivores. They can hunt the shrimp better, they grow faster. So look how different these tadpoles look. We have our omnivore who eats anything, our carnivore who eats shrimp, they're the same age, might even be siblings, but they look so different. Being able to respond to what's in their environment, specifically the food here, enables them to grow and walk out of that pond, hopefully before it dries up. So those are some cool ways that a frog manages to survive in the desert. I hope you enjoyed learning about the spadefoot toad. I'm gonna leave you on this cute video of some toads trying to eat crickets. Um, Meantime, I'm Emily Harmon. I'm a North Carolina scientist. Uh, for more content like this, go to ncscifest.org.